Hi and welcome back. I'm Michael and today in this special episode of Cuisine Culture, I'll bring you to a place that I call my second home. Welcome to the Waterside Inn, the oldest three Michelin star outside of France. Okay, well, here we are with uh, Chef Alain Roux. Thank you very much for welcoming us here. It means a lot to me because of what we spoke about before. Uh, well, the time I've spent here, uh, only a few years uh, with the family. So <clears throat> it's a pleasure for me to be here and to be cooking with you today. Well, you're welcome, Michael. I mean, uh, as you know, this is your second home. And I think it's about just about 10 years you've left us. Yeah. And uh, if I'm right, you worked with us for four years. Yes. And um, you were, you know, obviously part of uh, many who've been uh, through the house, through the kitchen, because uh, family business, this comes back to uh, 1972, when my uncle and father started the water siding. And um, yeah, the place has just grown and I think kept, which is main, the most important thing, is, is kept and maintain its standard, which is all about, you know, offering good food and good service. You know, at the end of the day, I think what, what we can offer here for any staff member is a bit like a school, you know. It's like a trampoline, where not only you learn and you discover and you see things which you might not see in other places, but you have opportunity, the chance of uh, practicing, of learning and, and sharing your passion about cooking. And uh, it's a trampoline in your life. And that's what you've done, you know. You've exhaled and what you've done so far after leaving the waterside. I, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm very grateful and I'm really in admiration of you. Thank you, yeah. <coughs> and it's, it's really, you know, a school. Everybody can learn. And I was very lucky myself to go and work in France for eight years in a Relais Chateau Hotel restaurants. And I did six different places, all family businesses, and I learned. That was my journey. And I've learned a lot. And you never stop learning in this career, in this job, about being a chef. But my father, we worked side by side for about a good 10 years. And really, I think uh, the passion he had and the knowledge he had, and it's, it's very simple at the end of the day. It's all about you know, you're only as good as your team, and at the same time, if you want to be in charge, you have to show that you're in control. So you have better keep in control, be calm, and be able to find a solution. There are problems in life, same in cooking, but finding the solution. And that's why people who are in charge should be able to find a solution. So I'm always here to help. <coughs> Exactly what I mean. I mean, we could be here, I mean, talking all day and just listening. I could listen and to you and this is why when you want, we want to go to do other dinner or Bangkok or anywhere. Uh, same with our father. It was always a pleasure for me to go, even if I had my own style or whatever I was doing. It was always a pleasure because like you say, you never, you never stop learning. It's true. Um, well, I think, shall we start cooking then? Yes, let's go. Chef, hello. So we are here in the uh, kitchen and uh, we're going to prepare one of the signature dish, I think, of the Waterside Inn. A dish I had the great pleasure to prepare here and I have uh, many fond memories about uh, all this lobster and especially the cutting of the vegetable. I hope my skills are still good. 
I think everybody's chopped their fingers with that dish. <laughs> it's uh, one of definitely one of my uh, father's signature dish, which has been on the menu for over forty, maybe five, forty-five years, I think, uh, and will stay forever. I hope. It's such a beautiful dish. It's the tronçonnette de homard au porto blanc. So that's a lobster medallion with white port sauce and a vegetable julienne flavored with fresh ginger. Fresh live Canadian lobster. White port. Fish stock. Veal stock. Cayenne pepper. Salt. Fresh butter, red currant jelly, Belgium chicory, carrot, leek, fresh ginger, orange for the juice, and fresh chervil from the garden. So let's start with the julienne of vegetable for the lobster. So I've got the carrot. You want to do the leek, yeah, Mike? Yes, I do the leek. It was on the tasting menu, I remember. Yes. And then on the à la carte. And then the à la carte. Well, we, 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 I think the maximum we've been through is about uh, 80 to 100 a day. Ooh. Big seller, then. Yes. It's the, the big favorite of uh, the customers. I think that, yeah, it's quite interesting how you actually have veal stock as a base mixed with the fish fish stock so you have all these different I mean the sauce is the is the really the body of this dish I mean I remember uh, yourself being very on point with the sauce this the, the sauce will make the dish and, and like a lot of uh, dishes in French cooking sauces are very important and you need a good stock for that. So that, that is what we call uh, slicing as a julienne, like uh, angel hair. You see, it should be uh, it should be thin, but not too thin as well. Have a little a bit of a bite to it when you eat it. And as you can see, I did not think I lost my uh, feeling because I was a bit. Well, worried there, but I think it's still alright. They, they, they were not that, that good. Yeah, exactly. The That's first true. time you did the, did them, I remember, but uh, you haven't lost the touch. You're doing it better than me. <laughs> it's actually a dish that my father created uh, all that time ago on his first trip to China. He just got inspired, and like uh, all the time when he used to travel, he always used to find a, a, a good excuse to cook. And he ended up being uh, creative and uh, I guess influences of Asian uh, cooking. And he came up with uh, that dish, which uh, still after all those years is a, a dish everybody enjoys. And unusual, unusual flavors with lobster. Mm. So th this dish is still as popular because it's still original. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got the flavors of uh, those vegetables and the ginger and the kick of the, not only the ginger, but the spice of the cayenne pepper. And uh, it's got the sweetness of the white port in the sauce. And this sauce was a winner. I remember when you would make it and then you get chef to taste it. If you got it right the first time, I think you are pretty proud because it's a, it's a difficult one too. It's very difficult. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sorry. So, uh, I think that dish is uh, basically, it represents uh, everything about French cooking, even if it's got that strong Asian influence into it, but it's the simplicity of yeah, exactly. it. Exactly. It's all the chopping, the, the right amount of the quantity of each vegetable and ingredient, and certainly the cooking of the lobster. So now we've cooked all this uh, beautiful vegetable, uh, we're gonna cook, cook them. Some fresh butter. I prefer to start with the ginger because it all depends. The ginger, if it's fresh and if it's young, it can be very tender. But uh, I prefer to make sure it's going to be cooked. I don't like the ginger to be too crunchy, crunchy. and I want the flavors to really come out. Come out. So, yeah. so 
What we want is to cook the julienne so it, it becomes a little bit soft, it's cooked, but we don't want it to uh, fall as a puree. We want it to keep that texture, uh, but we want to make sure each ingredient is going to be cooked properly. <coughs> Just a couple of minutes. Now we're going to put the carrots. You see the carrot is almost there. Now the leeks. So now we're putting the Belgium chicory. And put a bit of orange juice. And after the orange juice, the red currant jelly, so a large spoon. It's amazing how food brings out memories, not only when you eat it, but when you cook it. I mean, the, the smell. I close my eyes, I can still smell the vegetable or the lobster cooking. I mean, for you, it must be quite something, this dish. You've been cooking it for so long, yeah. It's, I think cooking sometimes it's like eating and that dish you never get bored it's always exciting yeah. always taste when you cook yeah. that's it that's cooked we're going to drain it Now we're going to just let it to drain and cool down a little bit, but that's really ready to use. So the lobster, we said it's Canadian. We, we could have used the blue lobster, the Scottish lobster, but um, personally, my father and I agree with him. He always used to say the Canadian for that dish is much better. So that comes from North uh, America, the Atlantic uh, Sea. And I think it's, it's, the water is cold water still, yeah. but as you go into maybe a bit south in the, in the Atlantic Sea, you basically have warmer water and the lobster will be softer. I see. So and we, 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 we don't want the lobster to be too, too firm. We want it to be a little bit soft and sweet. The sweetness of the Canadian lobster, which is a main lobster, is beautiful. So this is about a pound lobster, maybe a little more. It's about 10 years old. We've got boiling water. And there's different ways. I mean, you, you could uh, put him asleep in the freezer for about 10 minutes. We don't want it to be frozen. And uh, that will put him asleep. And that's really what we've done now. And uh, another way um, is to pick a pointed knife, a long sharp knife, into the middle between the eyes, just poke it through and that will kill him instantly as well. But we prefer to put him asleep gently in the freezer for a few minutes, so it's not frozen but it's just asleep. Remove the bands so we don't want to cook the plastic and we put it in the boiling water. So it will be there for only 30 seconds and it will be dead instantly. That's it. You see, it's, it's changed color. This is now the lobster has been dead for 20 seconds in the ice cold water, because as you said, we don't want to cook it. So the lobster has been in there for a minute or two, and that's cold, see? So we're going to chop it up now.
and we cutting the pieces, the tronçon, the lobster tronçon. That's the, that's the stomach that we're removing. Oh, voilà. we don't want that. And the tail, which is the nicest part, we're going to chop it in medallions. Medallions. So that's another piece that way. We're going to use to present. So if you want to clean the head, Michael, My chef. we're going to get rid of that. This and this, we're going to keep it for the sauce, not the inside. Those are the filters. We're going to remove those. This does it bring bitterness or...? Bitterness what? and it's really, uh, it's actually toxic mm. if you eat a bit too much of that and uh, we don't want that, so we remove it. It's basically the filter, a bit mm. like the stomach of, uh, of the lobster. Oh. So this we chop it for the sauce. Keeping everything in. This will bring more flavors. So separating the knuckles and the claws. So the, the claw, we just uh, want to uh, crack it. This is to help the cooking. Oh. Help the cooking and we're going to see, we're going to show that we release all the meat from the lobster. The lobsters all cut. We're going to prepare the seasoning, which is basically uh, the salt and the cayenne pepper. So you see, uh, you want a bit of seasoning everywhere, huh? especially on the meat. Get all around the claws. Even the pieces that are going to be used for the sauce, we can put a little bit. That's it. Okay. The hot pan. Olive oil. And we're going to put our, our pieces of lobster. Approximately, we cook them on each side. It will take about a, a good four or five minutes on each side. So we want to have really a nice color on the on the meat. Nice color there. Yep. Good question, actually, why you cook it in the shells? So we we cook it in the shell to keep the moistness of the lobster, and obviously retain all the flavors of the lobster. So the body, uh, I think, they are ready, Chef? Yeah, perfect. Which is coming yeah. up a little bit. Yeah, nice color. And uh, they're almost cooked, huh? two-thirds cooked. That's perfect. That's cooked. Chef? So as soon as uh, the claw, obviously the claws normally are always two different sizes. They very often, one will be smaller than the other. So you've got to check and by the way it's cooked, you know when you can remove the small part of the claw and the cartilage will come out, just release itself very easily. That means it's cooked, or just about cooked, and it's uh, ready to come out of the pan. Add now the other parts of the lobster, because we're going to do the sauce in here. So like you say, we have all this flavor in the pan. We want this to be in the sauce. Yeah, we don't want to lose anything. That's a little color. Now we're going to remove a, a bit the excess of the fat of the olive oil. There's nothing much, but uh, we don't want a greasy sauce. That's it. 
now we're going to deglaze with the white port. Thank you. And unusual. It's not usual to use uh, the white port in cooking. I'm going to reduce that. So in the meantime, we're going to uh, finish to prepare the, the lobster medallions. So as you remember, the, those medallions, we're going to remove the, the shell, or part of the shell actually. And we're going to release the meat. You see, we're going to, we're going to lose this part. So we can put it here. Release the, the lobster meat and put it back in the shell, just like that. That's it. It, it keeps the lobster in, in shape, it keeps it moist as well. It will look pretty as well, but it's mainly for the texture. You wanted to reduce a bit more, Chef? Yeah, another 30 seconds and we'll be ready. Right. Yep, so now you can put the veal stock hey, chef. and the fish stock, please. Basically it's to really give a full flavor and it's a meaty, it becomes a meaty dish actually. And uh, certainly a, a full body sauce. And that's what uh, is quite original with that dish. It's got quite a good body in the sauce, but it's fishy and shellfish. Quite then you get the sweetness of the port wine, which balances it out. So, how do you see it's ready to pass now? It's reduced enough? Yeah, it's reduced enough, and uh, you know, there's only so much you can extract from all the shells. So, that's going to be now passed. Obviously, we're going to uh, make sure we scrape everything because. As we know, stock and sauces are like gold. Back on the heat, we're going to press that slightly. That's it, and we're going to reduce the sauce further down. A flavor of the shell into the juice, and once you get the flavor you want, you then pass it and reduce it. Reducing it too much with the bone and the chef will actually the shell will actually alter uh, the sauce and might make it bitter. So the dressing, the vegetable julienne, we just reheated it a little bit. So we're putting uh, a few pounds for basically each uh, main uh, piece of the dish. So if you can grab me the lobster Michael in the oven. Chef. So the head like this. We pass the sauce is better just before serving, just to make sure there's no small particle of skin or anything like that. The sauce gets uh, drizzled on the meat. And after that, the lovely fresh chervil. Tronçonnette de homard au porto blanc. So the lobster medallion with a white port sauce. So the lobster has been pan fried and it's uh, deglazed with white port and is served on a vegetable julienne, which is uh, carrots, leeks, uh, Belgium chicory, a hint of ginger. And uh, the sauce is really a nice uh, 
viola-based American sauce, really. Michael, it's been a pleasure to have you back home Thank at you, the Water Chef. Side Inn for today. Pleasure was mine. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the recipe. And uh, I hope you enjoyed today uh, with us and with Chef Alain and the recipe with with uh, shown you for me it was a very special day being back here brought back so many memories so thank you for taking the time and to welcome me here uh, like uh, yeah like you say back in the family thank Definitely. you very much anytime and you know for our viewers happy cooking enjoy the recipes thank you If you enjoyed today's recipe, please like and subscribe to my channel to discover more interesting recipes.